Hi hey guys, this is lesson 15, and let's go ahead and get started with some multiplications. Um, and let's look at number one. So we're doing simple multiplications to find a product. So number one, we are doing 677 times 74. All right, and we know how to do all this. So that is 28, that's 28, that's 30, that's 20. I mean 27, not 29, right? And then we do this way, which is, that's 49, right? And then 53, that's 47, okay? So after we get to this step, we know that we have to add. So we start adding. That's 10. That's 10. So our answer is. Um, it's right here. 50,098. Okay. Well, that was pretty simple and easy. Let's try number two. Number two, we have 254 times 68. That's 32. That's 43. That's 20. Okay. That's 24. Um, that's 32. And then that's 15. So again, we're just going to add that's 7, 2, 7, 1. So our answer for number 2 is 17,272. Okay. So that's it. Just simple, easy multiplications. So try the rest on your own. And then let's move on to the next page. So we're now doing division with no remainders. And this time we're finding the quotient. Okay, so let's look at number one. So we're gonna divide 301 by seven. Okay, so how many times does seven go into three? No, zero times, right? Why? Because three is less than seven. Okay, so then now we're going to move on to the next next number then. So instead of 3, we're looking at 30. How many times does 7 go into 30? It goes into 4 times. Why? Because that's 28, right? And so we subtract, so that's 2. And then we're left with 21 now because of that. You just bring it down, right? And so now 21. And so now we think, how many times does 7 go into 21? goes in three times, right? Why? Because seven times three equals 21. And then we get a zero, which means no remainders. So our answer for number one is 43. Okay. Let's try number two. So number two, we have 6,422 divided by 2. Okay, so let's look at 6 first. So we're looking at 6 first and then we we are going to think. We are going to think how many times 2 goes into 6. Well it goes in 3 times, right? Because what's 2 times 3? It's 6. So now we subtract. That's 0. You just bring down all the numbers. And then now we have 422. Then now we look at four, okay? And then we we go, how many times does two go into four? Into four? Two times, right? Because two times two is four. So then now we again subtract, so then that becomes zero. Now we have 22 because we bring those two down, okay? And so how many times does two go into two? One time, again, one time. So our answer is 
3,201. Okay. So that's it. Go ahead and finish this page. And then let's move on to division with remainders this time. So number one, we have 61,630 divided by four. Again, we're looking at the first digit, which is six. And then we go, and then, I mean, we're gonna ask ourselves, how many times is four going to six? None, right? I mean, actually, it's not none. Once, right? Because four times one is four, which is less than six. So then when we subtract, we get two. And then we just bring these numbers down, right? So then now we have 21,630, okay? And so now we go... I mean, we're going to ask ourselves, how many times 4 goes into 21? Okay, well, it goes in 5 times, right? Why? Because 4 times 5 is 20, and 20 is less than 21, right? And when we subtract, you get 1, and then you just bring these down, and then so now we have 1,630, okay? And so now we're looking at 16. How many times does 4 go into 16? It goes into 4 times. Why? Because 4 times 4 is 16, okay? And when we subtract, that's just 0, and then we just bring these down, so 30, okay? And then, we're looking at 3. Does 4 go into 3? No, it doesn't. So we're going to put a 0, okay? And then, then we look at 30. How many times does 4 go into 30? It goes into 37 um, times, right? Because four four times seven equals twenty eight, and so our remainder is two. Okay, so our answer for number one is fifteen thousand four four hundred and seven with a remainder of two. Okay, let's try number two. We have 50,626 divided by 5. We're looking at number 5. And how many does 5 go into 5 once, right? And then that's 5. We subtract, we get 0, and then we just bring these down, right? And so now, and then 5, so we're looking at 0. How many times does 5 go into 0? None. So 0 times, right? And so now we're looking at 6. Yes. So how many times does 5 go into 6? Once. So then 5 times five times 1 equals 5. And then we subtract. So then now we're left with 126. And now we're looking at 12. How many times does 5 go into 12? It goes in 2 times. Because 5 times 2 equals 10, right? And then when we subtract, we get 2, bring them to 6, so then we have 26. So then, how many times is 5 going to 26? 5 times, because 5 times 5 equals 25. So that means we have a remainder of 1. Okay? So our answer for number 2 is 10,000. 125 with a remainder of 1. Okay, so that's it. Go ahead and try solving the rest on your own, and then let's move on to our last page. So, least common multiples, we are asked to find the LCM, and so let's look at Number four and five together. Okay, so all we're doing is just we're, we're gonna have to list all the multiples. Okay, so for number four, let's start with 40. So 40. Okay, so 
then it's going to be 40, 80, 120. So you just keep adding 40, right? That's 120, 160, that's 200. You just keep going, so that's 240, 280, 320, and then 360, and then we keep going, so on and so forth, right? And so, let's leave out that, and then let's move on to 35, okay? So for 35, we're going to again list the multiples, so that's 70, right? We're basically just adding 35. So 70 plus 35 equals 105. Okay, add 35, that's 140. Add 35, that's 175. Again, add 35, and then that is 210. That's 245. 280, oh, 280 it is. Why? Because that's the one number, right, we have in common. And that is the least common multiple. So the LCM for 40 and 35 is 280. Okay. Let's try number five. Let's erase all this. Okay, so number five. Again, we're going to list all the multiples. So for 5, that is just, actually, let's do 17 first. Because 5 is easy, right? So 17. Um, that's 34. We're adding 17, right? So that's 34, and then 34 plus 17 equals um, 51. Add 17, that is 68. And then that is 85. And then let's stop at 85. Now let's do multiples of 5, right? So we do 5, 10, 15, sorry, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, and 85. Oh, what do we have in common? 85. So that's our LCM. Okay. But really, I mean, I'm pretty sure we probably could have figured out um, that the LCM for 5 and 17 was 85 without listing the multiples of 5. Because obviously that's the only number with um, only number that ends in five, right? So we probably could have figured it out, but we just listed them out. Okay, so that's it. Try number one, two, and three on your own, and then here's your answer key.